Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 24 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, it's Friday. Appreciate you tuning in to today's show. If you caught Wednesday's episode, we were taking a look at Photoshop, specifically how to use clipping mask with colors and brushes. Today, I'm gonna to mix things up just a tad. We're gonna take a look at Adobe InDesign. That's right, episodes will still come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm gonna start reserving Friday for new software, the software you folks have been asking about. So we'll be taking a look at InDesign, Illustrator, After Effects, Flash, and other applications from the Adobe Creative Suite. But not to worry, we still have Lightroom and plenty of Photoshop for you guys as well, okay? So today, we're gonna to take a look at the place command, right? How to multi place inside of Adobe InDesign. Let's check it out. All right, you can see on the screen in front of you, I've got a blank document. And if I wanted to place images, I would simply go to the file menu and choose the place command. When I'm here inside of file place, I can select multiple images to place in the document. But what I can't do is select images and then change directories while I'm in the dialog box. So I'm gonna cancel out of this. This is today's tip. I'm gonna show you how to use MiniBridge, which is new to CS5, to place multiple files from different directories. Let's go ahead and check it out. You can see over on the right, I have the MiniBridge panel. If you don't have it on your screen, simply go to the window menu and find MiniBridge. Here I've got a directory full of files. And what I'm gonna do is just select all these images. Actually, I'll just select four of them and I'm gonna drag these over my document and let go of the mouse. Now when I do this, you'll see if I zoom in on the cursor for just a second, it tells me I have four images loaded. But I wanna grab more than four. So I'm gonna go back to MiniBridge and change directories. And I'll grab four different images. And I'll drag these over the document and I'll let go of the mouse. Now if I zoom back in on the, on the mouse cursor, you can see I have eight images. And in fact, I can keep changing directories inside of MiniBridge and go to different areas where I have photos and just select those. So I'll grab two more here, drag these over. Now I have 10 images. Once I'm ready to place the images, I can collapse MiniBridge. And here's your next tip. If I hold Command Shift on a Mac, that'd be Control Shift on a PC, it'll give me a grid. So I can actually drag out a grid of images. My up and down arrows would change the number of columns, or excuse me, the number of rows. My left and right arrows would change the number of columns. So I can go ahead and drag out this grid. I can make it five wide. I think I'll just make it four wide today. Go ahead and drag this out, let go of the mouse, and there are all the photographs placed. You can see that they're all sized proportionally inside the frames. And if I wanted to, I could click the button that says fill frame proportionally in my control panel. There I have all the images. And if I wanted to, I could center each one individually. So that's a quick tip for using MiniBridge. Now I know what you're saying. Maybe you don't have Adobe InDesign CS5. Maybe you have CS4. You can still use my multi-place trick with the existing bridge. So I'm gonna delete these pictures, and I want you to see if I actually alt-tab over to the regular bridge program, here I have a bunch of pictures. One of the things people forgot is that bridge had an option to switch to compact mode. This actually turned bridge into a panel. So here I have bridge, it's now a collapsible panel. I can actually use this inside of any Adobe app. I can even use it for my Microsoft apps. So if you have CS4, you actually have Bridge and you can put it in compact mode. So I'll do the same thing. I'll grab four pictures. I'll drag them over InDesign, let go. That loads the cursor. I'll go back, I'll change directories. Hey, right, let me find my Halloween. Grab four more pictures. Drag this over Bridge. Click once to activate it. Here's my cursor. I can go ahead and do Command Shift on a Mac or Control Shift on a PC. Drag out my grid of images, drop them on the page, and then once again, I can do my fill frame proportionally. 
So when you're finished with Mini Bridge, you can actually collapse it to a toolbar. And here it is in ultra compact mode. You can move it anywhere you want on screen to get it out of the way. Now, if you don't want it in ultra compact mode, you can just switch back to the full screen view. And now Bridge actually covers up just like a regular application. So this has been a quick tip for Adobe InDesign, how to do multi-place in both CS5 with Mini Bridge and using Bridge in compact mode. My name's AJ Wood. If you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hope to see you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're doing Lightroom, Photoshop. I'm even gonna start including some photography tips for you. So the channel is expanding, the content is expanding. It's all based on your feedback. You can leave that feedback on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Leave me comments here on YouTube, and I will see you guys next week.